what is happening people so today we are going to do a review on this TriStar Viper 2 matte finish shotgun and I have put a Carlson's 650 choke in the end of it and we're going to see how this puppy operates today so stay with us this is a TriStar Viper 2 three inch magnum shotgun. Now I just purchased this weapon and it was a little late coming in. I was hoping to get it before turkey season but due to the coronavirus uh, all the shipping was behind so I just got it in last week. And it comes in the matte black and it also comes in two camouflage colors. And I just like matte black. I have several rifles and black powder gun in the matte black. I just like the matte black and it was about eighty to a hundred dollars cheaper too. So anyway, nothing wrong with being frugal, right? So as I started this video, I said, what does people want to know if they're interested in buying this TriStar weapon? Well, first of all, it comes with this soft touch, um, comes with this soft touch feel on it, which would fit a glove very well. And I was impressed with the way this, this feels. This fits my hand very well. Uh, it's, it's necked really well here. So when I hold it, and another thing impressed me is this forearm. Can you see how this forearm is shaped for your fingers? It fits really well in the palm of my hand. Now, as you all can see, the gun is unloaded. So if I'm sitting turkey hunting, my hand is here, relaxed, or either gripping here. I can grip this weapon really well. Not all forearms are made the same, but this forearm really feels good. And this weapon is... Uh, I'm not sure about the weight of this weapon, but it is fairly light weapon if you need to tote it, say if you're a turkey hunter around. And I chose to get the 26 inch barrel instead of the 28 inch barrel. And one of the reasons is because I was going to put this Carlson's choke in the end and it's going to wind up being almost 28 inches and having a turkey gun in the woods, of course you want the shorter barrel. Anyway, it, this holds this gun will hold uh, three three-inch magnum shells in the magazine and of course one in the chamber and it'll hold four two and three quarters and uh, one two and three quarter which gives you a capacity of five rounds now you don't have to do anything special on this gun it'll go I've, I've already shot uh, low brass shells uh, medium brass shells like a pheasant shell and turn right around and shot a couple of turkey loads in it. And for today's demonstration, we're going to shoot a turkey load. And the load we chose today, uh, we have a, we have purchased a Carlson's. I don't know if you could see that. I'll get a closer picture. We purchased a Carlson's uh, long beard turkey choke. And they made that turkey choke especially for Winchester to shoot this long beard XR turkey load. And I'm going to do an adjacent video, and I'll attach both of these videos to, uh, we're going to do the choke tube separately, because I don't want this to get too long, and then we're doing the choke tube. So we're going to do, we're going to actually do the, the Carlson's choke tube separate from the gun review. So in this video, I'm going to go over from unboxing this gun, what you're going to see, all the way up to uh, actually shooting a pattern. And we're going to shoot at 40 yards today. Uh, with this Carlson's choke tube and we're going to shoot this. This is the first time I've fired it. You're going to get to see this first. And uh, very curious. Now I have fired one turkey load through this at 40 yards just to see uh, what kind of pattern I had because I've hunted with this weapon. If it looks a little dirty, it actually got a little wet yesterday. Uh, we got caught in the rain trying to get out of the turkey woods. But anyway, I've turkey hunted with this gun a couple of times and uh, looking forward to taking the turkey with it. This gun comes with a ventilated rib, has a fiber optic sight on the end of it. Um, it does come with the swivel mounts already attached, which is a big plus. You don't have to run out and try to find swivel mounts to fit this. And uh, I just took one of my old slings off my other shotgun and put it right on this one and boom, there you go. It does come, uh, this firearm does come with three chokes. It comes with a full, modified, and an improved cylinder, and there's a little package in there that all your choke tubes and your choke tube wrench goes in very very convenient uh, this Viper 2 uses 
uses the Beretta choke, which is a mobile thread systems. I think Beretta and Benelli have, uh, I think, three or four different ones. So uh, I double checked on that and had to go back online and finally found it. And I ordered the, actually ordered the choke tube from Amazon. And uh, it seemed to be the cheaper. And a lot of the hunting and fishing stores around here are closed anyway, so nobody had them in stock. This Viper 2 comes with a five year manufacturing warranty, which is highly impressive. Something happens to it, send it back to them for five years. It has a rubber recoil pad, nice recoil pad. Now, shooting low brass, you can't even hardly tell you're shooting them. Now, when you shoot an ounce and seven eighths turkey load in it, uh, it'll jump on you. So, uh, the, the more powder, more heavier load, payload that you're shooting, of course, the, the gun is going to shoot a little harder. Now, they do make this weapon in a three and a half as well, and they make it in the camouflage and the matte black. Now, this does come with a chromed line barrel. So anyway, right here, I don't have mine in it, but in the top, uh, there is a, a plastic rod uh, about three and a half inches long that just slides right down on top of that. You can pick it up, falls right out, and you can screw uh, this magazine cap right back on. Extremely convenient. I love that. Uh, the breech will stay open so the chamber is open when you want to close it. This button on the side, I like this button, very convenient. That closes the chamber. And I like this feature too. It stays open when my last round is fired. So if you're dove hunting, you fired three rounds and hey, here comes another set of doves and you need to be quick, drop the shell right down in there, boom, back to point of aim you get another shot off and when you're unloading this and I haven't practiced this but when you're unloading this so if you want to just unload the round in the chamber you can pull this back just a little ways and push this lifter arm up and you can eject the shell out of the chamber and this keeps the shell from uh, feeding into the chamber now, you take the same lifter arm and push it down. It's got a little lever on the side, a little keeper that keeps the shells into the chamber. You can push that and release that shell here. Take it, put it in your hand, push it back in, do the same thing. Now that takes a little practice, of course, but a nice feature. Uh, this gun feels and handles really well. Uh, I wouldn't mind going and doing some uh, skeet shooting with this weapon. Uh, it, it comes to point of aim really well, really quickly, and uh, I like the weapon. And uh, it's a good looking weapon, and it's a really good feeling and handled weapon. It's not bulky. I like that. And uh, comes to point of aim really quickly.
with that ventilated rib. So anyway, hey guys, let's fire around through this thing and see what this Winchester ammo does. I have the target already set up at 40 yards. See how it does with that Carlson's choke. So let's get to it. See that fiber optic sight on that bad boy? Y'all excuse me, I'm going to have to hold this up, but anyway, and this was number six shot at 40 yards. This was the number six, uh, the XR at 40 yards, and uh, you can see by that pattern. Now, I noticed this when I shot it a couple of days ago. I just shot it kind of free-handed right off the porch out in the yard at a notebook paper, and I noticed the shot pattern looked a little left. And I just assumed it was me. And that is the whole purpose of me using the lead sled. So I know it's not me jerking it off. But anyway, that is a really, really tight pattern. Uh, just a little off to the left. So that lets me know. So that was approximately 95 to 96 shot. And the pattern was a little off to the left. So if I would have centered that, it would have brought well over 100 shot. So anyway... Uh, I'll just make a little adjustment to uh, the shot pattern and we'll see. Hey guys, I would, uh, I would say I would not be afraid to buy one of these weapons. If you're interested in a shotgun and an automatic, hey, give TriStar a look. They don't sponsor my uh, YouTube channel. Hey, they can if they want to. I won't turn them down. And I especially like the variety that they give a female shooter and, and someone of a smaller statue like a child. And the, they really have a lot of models that cater to that younger or smaller shooter. And uh, I really like that about them. You don't see that in some of the other gun manufacturers. But anyway, this gun is uh, going to be a utility weapon. Uh, if I purchase a, a weapon it's not going to be just a one use, it's going to be a multi use. I can carry this weapon with me duck hunting, I can carry it with me turkey hunting, I can rabbit hunt with it, I can deer hunt with it. Uh, so it's a multi purpose gun. Not everyone can afford to have an individual gun for all different sports. But anyway, this would be a good choice for anybody who wants a good multi purpose gun. Hey guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you saw something that would help you if you're interested in this weapon. And uh, we're going to end this video. Hey, you remember, it's a wild life, and I'll see you in the field.